take the win in your last outing? Just you set a new career high in strikeouts. Just overall, what are you looking to improve upon going into USC? Uh, I want to go longer in the games. You know, I, I've had one outing above seven innings. That was the complete game a few weeks ago. Um, just looking to to go longer into games, giving my team a better chance to win. So just keeping my pitch count down throughout those and, and just go as long as I can. It's been a kind of up and down season for you overall. Just how are you trying to find consistency going forward from here? Just consistency in my routines. Um, I've stayed pretty consistent, just tweak some th things here and there. I think I'm finally um, starting to find the stride to where I can uh, go longer in games, you know, keep my velocity throughout the whole outing. And uh, that's, that's, that's really the main thing. What are some of the, like the, the challenges you found being in the rotation now compared to last year when you were strictly in the bullpen? Uh, I would say mostly the, the inconsistency. You know, I, f I feel like I, I uh, navigated the chaos last year pretty well. Um, you know, this year it's more of a stricter schedule, you know, um, no one I'm pitching, which is which is always good. But um, I, don't know, I feel like, you know, I was I was used to the chaos last year. It was a hard transition over. I feel like I'm finally getting used to it and, uh, you know, going out there, putting out my best stuff. So, you know, I feel like just the consistency with preparing week weekly, you know, that was probably the biggest challenge, finding a routine to be consistent with. Compared to coming out of the bullpen and when you're a starter? Yeah, I feel like, you know, as a bullpen guy, you know, you're susceptible to being in the game multiple times a week. Not knowing when you're going to pitch is pretty exciting. So you get that adrenaline rush, you know, as a starter, you know. Um, you get one day a week and, uh, you know, if you don't have the, the best outing, you know, it's you, you got to live with that for six or seven days before your next outing, you know, as a bullpen guy, you, you get to flush things pretty easily. and. So, um, you know, being a starter, it's, it's different from a bullpen guy, but you, I feel like I've navigated it, you know, all right so far. Do you, ever, do you ever try to convince yourself it's Friday when it's your day to start so that maybe you can just go in there and, and not know that you're pitching today? Yeah, you know, um, I try, always try to treat every game the same, you know, intensity-wise. Uh, I got to psych yourself up a little bit all the time. And, um, you know, I have my, my way of doing that. Um, other guys have different ways of doing that. Everybody has their own mentality when going out on the mound. Um, I can get intense at times, but for the most part, I stay pretty calm. So that's that's pretty much what I get get at. I remember last year you said you like to pitch angry. Is that kind of a, a mentality you still espouse? Yeah, absolutely. You know, it. I feel like it depends on the situation and the, the, you know, the antics that are taking place that weekend, you know. Um, whether if the other team's talking trash or not, but that, that usually gets me riled up a little bit. You know, I feel like it's a it's the same mentality, but maybe a different way of showing it. So is your, is your warm up routine different for a starter versus last year when you were a bullpen? Like, how is it any different when you're getting when you're getting ready to go in and pitch? Yeah, uh, I would say playing catch is a little bit different. Uh, worked on it throughout the summer uh, last summer to develop kind of a stable routine for that. So long tossing uh, a lot more this year than I was last year. I think last year the max distance I would go in throwing was like 150 feet, but it worked. You know, it worked for me, you know, coming out of the bullpen so often. It kept my arm right. You know, this year I get to throw a little bit more, keep my arm a little bit more in shape since I have to throw a lot more pitches this year than I did last year. So just the different, you know, throwing routines from, you know, vary from roll to roll. So I think that's what pretty much changed. Last Friday, Jay said he didn't, now, two of his pitches weren't really working too well. How consistent are yours? I mean, do they vary a lot or are they pretty much, are you more consistent like that? Yeah, I would say it depends on the arm. Um, I would say the fastball would vary week to week, very based on how my arm's feeling. But um, I feel like all the off speed pitches can vary from week to week, depending on. And, you know, you just got to see how they're working in your bullpen and, and make adjustments as you're going on as the game's going on, you know, you know, and even if you don't have your best stuff that day, you know, it's, it's your job to go out and make the adjustments that you need to make those pitches work. So you got to do some magic here and here and there to make them, uh, down the stretch. Yeah. I mean, you guys are, are in contention for a lot of things. You know, what, what are the keys to success for the whole team? You know, you're getting to the month of May. What are you guys thinking about keys to success down the stretch? Uh, probably, um, I feel like some guys got to step up a little bit more just to um, be able to reach the goals that we want to reach. 
you know, and um, I think just staying staying consistent with our with our hitting, very important. You know, our offense is on a tear. Um, I love who we have in the lineup. I feel confident every single day that I come out to pitch that we're gonna score runs. You know, and you know, just keeping keeping uh, in contention to win a game. You know, pitching wise, you know, if we can just keep our offense in contention to win the game, uh, I think we'll be all right. How nice has it been to see Jace do so well in that Friday role and, you know, maybe kind of feeding off of him and, you know, maybe that fires you up even a little to, to try and replicate that like he did against Stanford. Yeah, well, Jace sets the tone. He's a tone setter. You know, Jace is, is one of those guys. He's, he's, he's intense, tough guy, um, pitches through a lot. You know, even, even those games where he may not have his best stuff and, you know, different guys uh, would fold. Jace is, keeps us right there. So, you know, that's that's why he's – you know, he's, he's our guy and, and, uh, to follow him up is, is always a challenge, but you know, he gives me a lot of confidence when I go out there on the mound the day after him. And, you know, he's just a blessing to have on this team. I can imagine you guys haven't dived into what USC does yet on offense as a whole staff, but overall, I mean, when watching baseball, just what, have, what have you seen from them? Even just some of the preliminary stuff, you know, I haven't, haven't seen much from them. You know, I, all I know is, you know, maybe they're standing in the pac 12. That's pretty much all I know. And, um, you know, we pride ourselves on playing the game well, and as long as we go out there this weekend, play the game well, and, uh, and play it right, then I think we're going to come out with a lot of wins.